Live it like Lisa here. Hey everyone, it's me, your favourite. <laughs> really? Mom. Jessie. Mom, I've got a Christmas stuff I'm, I'm doing my HDTV um, demonstration Mom, today. Stuff. We're not doing Christmas stuff yet. We're skipping the vlog today because I've got to do my... Hey everyone, live it like Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm not actually doing a vlog, but I am going to be playing with my new HTV run auto heat press machine. I've pretty much spent all, well, I spent all day yesterday, which was Saturday, cleaning the house and decorating it for Christmas, which I didn't film, but I will update you guys next weekend. <laughs> Jessie's doing Christmas stuff at the moment. She's making gingerbread and being a real pain in the ass because she wants me to film her. <laughs> um, I've spent all morning creating some designs on my silhouette machine so that I can print some t-shirts and show you how this beauty of a beast works. Um, I'm so excited. I have a feeling I'm not going to have a single plain t-shirt in my wardrobe once I get started on this stuff. Even, I think I'm even gonna print some shit on my yoga pants as well. I, I'm obsessed and I haven't even done one yet. So <laughs> I've got some designs that I've printed off or cut out on my silhouette. So we're gonna give this auto heat press machine a little whirl today and I'll let you know what I think. Now let's go film a bit of Jessie before she cries. So Jessie's baking. Well, you say it now that I'm filming. Filming? What filming. are you making? What are you making? I'm making gingerbread from scratch. And I bet she didn't even wash her hands. I did yesterday. Did you? That's when fine. I came inside. That's fine then. Yeah. It's looking good, lady. Did you taste a bit yet? Does it taste good? Oh well, yeah, it tastes pretty good. Oh my God, I can't wait. Pretty good. Please make What's it. What's wrong with it? Please make sure you do whatever you did last time because they were the best gingerbreads. You can see in the background, I've got a little bit of Christmas decor. And, and I, 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 I did the tree all by myself. Jessie's done the tree, but I'm going to give you a whole, a whole little house tour next weekend, I think. Once, um, yeah, once everything's done because I've still got to do the lounge. I've still got to fix all the lounge up. Well, I'm going to go make my Christmas t-shirts now. I'll let, we'll do a taste test at the end. So today, instead of doing my normal weekend vlog, I wanted to play with my new HTV run auto press heat machine. I just wanted to see what it does and just to create a couple of t-shirts and yeah, I've just, I've, <laughs> I've spent all morning cutting out designs on my silhouette machine and I cannot wait to like put them onto a t-shirt just to see how they go. I'm pretty nervous because usually with new equipment and stuff like that, um, yeah, I am, I'm really bad, but nah, no, I'm just, I, I don't like new technology. Like if someone can show me how to use it, I'm fine. But if I have to do it myself, I get really nervous. But the thing I like most about this heat press machine is that there's not many buttons and there's not many instructions. So it's it seems to be pretty much switch on, press one button and go. So I'm hoping everything's gonna work out and I, and I do everything correctly. So here is my beautiful machine here. I absolutely love it. I love that it's white and blends in with all of my craft room. I've currently got it plugged in and um, all we need to do now is just press that button to switch it on so that it can start heating up. So you can see here it's starting to heat up. So it's got four minute rapid heating, which means it'll take roughly about four minutes to come to temperature. So we'll let that do its thing. Okay, so this is now, it's, heat, it's heated up until 210 for 20 seconds. So this is like a preset in the machine. So the vinyl I'm using requires a 305 degree Fahrenheit. So we just press the temperature button and then go up to our desired temperature. Oh, 
305 and for the vinyl I'm using it recommends 15 seconds for and 15 seconds for the time so we're just going to let that heat up now now while that's heating up so this is your time you press your time and then you can adjust the time up or down using these buttons and then this is your temperature and you adjust according to up or down however you want to go so this is going to flash red until it's up to the temperature it needs to be and once it gets there it'll go on to green so that we know it's ready so here we have some other modes that you can use so this one here has got preset modes so if you press this um, it will show you preset mode 300 at 15 Preset mode 2, 320 at 15 seconds. And preset mode 3, 320 for 20 seconds. I don't know if there's another one. Oh yeah, there's 4, 390 for 40 seconds. So those preset modes are modes for HTV run materials, for different materials that you can purchase through them. So they're already in the system. It also allows you to put your own modes in there so it gives you two pretty sure it's two two options to put your own settings in there so um yeah if if you're commonly using something that's not part of those you can set up your own modes it's very very easy to use which i'm super happy about because yeah i'm not very technologically minded and then this auto button is it'll just you press that button and it'll go down for the amount of time it needs to go down and come up when it's ready so it's basically your go button um it can't be any simpler than that so i mean i'm saying that <laughs> i hope i do everything right so we'll let that heat up and i'll get my t-shirts and everything ready so what i like most about this machine is it's so simple to set up and you can start using it just by the click of one button so we're up to the desired temperature now and the sensors inside the machine auto adjust to the material thickness up to two and a half centimeters as well. So it will adjust how much pressure it needs to put on to that, like whatever's underneath it according to the thickness. And also it'll turn off automatically after 10 minutes if it's not being used, which is also a really good feature. All right, so let's give this a go. We pull out the drawer. And what I like too is that the, the drawer is um, separate to the heating element so you're not, you know, you're less likely to get burnt or anything like that. Now this is just an old t-shirt, it's my very first one I'm doing so I didn't want to use one of my brand new t-shirts in case I wreck it. But um, yeah, let's see. Oh, I'm so nervous. I shouldn't be nervous, I'm excited, I'm excited. So what we'll do first is we'll press the, the material first so it's nice and flat. So you just got to push the drawer in till it clicks and then press your button to go down. And it's just going to give us a nice flat surface. All right, so now I saw this on a t-shirt on Shein uh, but they didn't have my size so I've been dying to get this onto a t-shirt. I absolutely love Schitt's Creek. This is my design, my David Free Hugs on, design. Set that on. We've got our, we'll put our um, silicon mat over that. Put that underneath. Do its thing. I don't even know if this vinyl is cold remove or hot remove. Cool peel, so we've got to let it cool down and then peel it. I'm so excited. How easy is that? Done. Oh yeah, that's done as well. Take that off. Let that cool. Let's do another one while we're here. Let's try a Christmas tea. Oh my god, I can I can tell. I'm not going to be getting any work done anymore. I'm just going to be pretty much transforming my whole wardrobe. Press that first. How 
easy is that? It's doing it all itself. Seriously, guys, if I can do this, anyone can do this. There's nothing to it. The hardest part is doing the whole designs on the bloody silhouette. I'm still trying to work out half of that stuff. So what does it do? Just hot press it? Yeah, it's just like a big iron, really. So now, yeah. The last one, my puppies. A little memorial t-shirt for the little puppies. What do you think? I am absolutely super impressed. I'm literally not going to be vlogging anymore this year and I'm just going to be <laughs> heat pressing everything in my wardrobe. Absolutely love it. Here's the, the Christmas one. I need to find myself some more red shirts. It's glittery. It is. Is it coming up on camera glittery? So cool. Oh my god, I'm just going to be making t-shirts left, right and centre now. This one's my favourite. Oh, the puppies. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so impressed guys. So definitely um, check out, if you're interested in getting a uh, auto heat press machine, definitely check out HTV Ront's website. I'll leave the details down below they are actually having a black friday sale so maybe wait until then to put your order in because you'll you know obviously in the black friday sales you'll save yourself a heap of money um but yeah i highly recommend it i i am so excited you've got no idea i will be bloody heat transferring everything in my house the last couple of years it was like white chalk paint and now it's just going to be heat <laughs> transfer vinyl on everything. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all their details below, check them out. They not only sell heat press machines, they also sell um, cutting tools, all the different vinyls, heat transfer vinyl, normal vinyl, I think even resins and things like that as well. Check out their website, they ship anywhere in the world. They've got an Australian... Um, what do you call it like a specific australian htv site so if you type in htvront.com you go up to the top in the right hand corner click on an australia that's if you're in australia obviously i think they've got one for america canada um i think there's a couple of others up there and if you click on australia it'll put all the prices of everything in australian dollars for you as well so yeah highly recommend check them out as you saw super easy to use I'm just about to now go and create some more designs and <laughs> do some more t-shirts. But before I get stuck into more t-shirts, how good do these gingerbread cookies look? These, yeah, Jessie homemade them. Just, she's amazing. They tasted so good. So now on to some t-shirts. Wow, have I had a fun afternoon. So <laughs> I've had a whole production line going at my house. Uh, I did this one, that's like the front, and that I didn't do anything on the front. Michael just wanted something on the back. That's for like Michael's business. We just tried it on an old shirt just to see if, you know, see if it would look good. So I did one for Michael. Oh, this is the best machine ever, guys. I swear to God. I did a little one for Jesse. So I did, um, I actually downloaded the Harley Davidson logo, but then I changed the middle word here to say Yamaha instead of Harley Davidson. So <laughs> I did that little t-shirt for Jesse. 
Oh gosh, I love this machine. I totally love this machine, guys. Look, it's not cheap, cheap, but um, it's well worth the investment if this is what you're into because it's so quick and so easy. Like once I've done all the designs, I just line up my t-shirts with the design sitting on top and I just press the button. It does, a whole, it does the whole thing down and up itself. Next t-shirt, press the button. Actually, you don't even have to press the button. You just basically push the drawer in. Once you've laid your t-shirt on, you've got your design on top, push the drawer in and it comes down itself and pops back up when it needs to. It is so good. I did a little Live It Like Lisa YouTube shirt for me. Oh, I got a whole new wardrobe now. I got, I did this one. These are just some of my old, on my old t-shirts. OMG, no one cares. Gosh, you're gonna see graphic tees on me every day now. I did this one. I actually saw this design on the internet and I really loved it. I'm not so much of a grammar Nazi, but I thought this one was really clever. The there, there, and there. <laughs> so I got that one. I did myself this one. This is Baya, Baya, Baya. If you know, you know. If you don't, well, it's part of the Turkish series that I watch. <laughs> so I got that one. And then last but not least, come on guys, you know this one was coming. Dove! <laughs> so they're not technically sponsoring me, but I'm sponsoring myself. <laughs> Oh, what fun. I swear to God, like, I've never been more excited for a sponsored video in my life. Like, this is so much fun. I am just, I'm just looking in my wardrobe now. I'm looking up t-shirt designs for, you know, to cover all my t-shirts. I just want graphics on all of them. <laughs> so, yes, highly recommend it. Totally, totally love the machine. It is super easy to use. It, it does the job, it's like, yeah, the vinyl that they sent me works perfectly, peels off nicely, had no issues whatsoever. It's a really, really great machine. So if you're thinking about buying a heat press machine, it is a little bit more than the hand, you know, the manual ones that you do by hand. Definitely maybe save, like, you know, put your money aside and save up for this one. It just makes the job so much easier. I'm not even saying that. It was just like, you know, zoom, zoom, zoom production line. Love it. Absolutely love it. So thank you to HTV Runt for sending me the auto heat press machine to, um, to try it out and review it. it. It is a winner for me. I absolutely love it. And there'll probably be little projects coming up all around my house using it. So yeah, won't be the last time you see it in some of my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.